Let's start with the prayer. Thank you, God, for today. And thank you for this gathering together of believers. And please be with me as I deliver your word. Please help me speak your word, not my own. And please help us learn from it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse number 8. Old Testament, Scott. That's right. Okay. <coughs> Isaiah 30, verse 8. About it. Amen. Good. Now go right before them in a table and note it in a book that may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, prophecy not unto its right things, speak unto its smooth things, prophecy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the out of Turn aside, out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Doesn't that sound just like Joel Osteen? It's good. It's good. The nicest, the smoothest, smiliest, apparently happiest, ain't Christ carrier on his way to hell you'll ever meet. That's yep. it. That's right. This is my Bible. Joel Osteen is what it says he is. False prophet, wolf in sheep's clothing, any Christ period. Yep. Joel Osteen has what it says he has, eternal damnation. Yep. Joel Osteen can do what it says he can do. Preach a false gospel, you see people in the hell. Yep. So, so <coughs> the title of the sermon is Why Joel Osteen is Going to Hell. Okay. And Adam has an appropriate introduction, now we know what we're talking about. <laughs> 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 There's only one reason that Joel Osteen or anybody else is going to hell. John, uh, John 3.18 says, he that believeth on him is not condemned. Amen. So yeah. he that believeth not is condemned already. Right. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Right. The one and only reason. Yeah. Uh, at the end of his sermons, Joel Osteen recites an example prayer and includes the phrase, I repent of my sins. That's work salvation. That's right. That's yeah. believing on yourself instead of Jesus. That's right. That's, right. that's why Joel Osteen's going to hell. Yeah. Good. That being said, let's look at some other things that are wrong. Um, you've seen him on the Larry King show where he denied that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Yep. Yep. John 14, 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and Amen. the life. No man right. cometh unto the Father but by me. That's right. Amen. And uh, 1 John 2, 22. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Amen. Jesus is the Christ? It is any Christ that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. So, uh, Joel Osteen Candy Place, and if that wasn't bad enough, I saw a clip of him on another talk show. The guy asked him if a Mormon is a true Christian. Guess what his answer was? In oh. my mind, they are. <laughs> That's usually how it works if you're a Christian. That's right. It's a good thing it's in his mind. I don't know much about what they believe. They said that magic word Jesus is good enough for me. Mom. I don't care what's going on in your mind. Show me what the Bible says. Amen. Amen. So, good. So, good. Look at Matthew 1, 7. Matthew 20, chapter 7. Matthew 7, verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So this Mormon religion was started by a man, they believe a false gospel of yep. our salvation, they right. yeah. work iniquity, they're not true Christians, don't be afraid to say it. Uh, have you ever noticed when he's doing these interviews, like half the time his answer to questions consists of, I don't know, I'm not sure, I haven't studied that, I can't really study it. What do you know? What are you doing there? Amen. Hey, he's right. guy off the street to answer questions of, I don't know. Yep. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Next up, lifestyle evangelism. Come on. Joel has these articles on his website that say, you can show people the love of God by leaving a fat tip, letting somebody in front of you in traffic, go in the grass. Those are all great things to do, but they're not a substitute for the gospel. Amen. 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 Moving somebody's grass is not going to keep them out of hell. That's right. <laughs> That's right. First Corinthians nine sixteen. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Amen. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Good. Woe unto you, Joel Lucy. That's, That's right. Good. Good. Uh, he wrote up this Hope for Today Bible, Bible, based on the NLT. The New Living Translation. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy duck. Splash <laughs> 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 That's why I got out. 
Yeah. If we do what the real Bible has to say about who, it's who for today, but who. See, Titus 3 7 says that being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal Amen. life. Amen. That's, That's good. good. 2 Thessalonians 2 16. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and, and good hope through grace. That's good. That's where your hope is. That's right. Amen. First Peter one twenty three says, "Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible Amen. by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever." Let's do a quick comparison. <laughs> We've all heard John three sixteen out of the Real Bible, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that That's whosoever right. believes Amen. in Him should not perish but have everlasting life." Yeah. Okay. So we've got in the NLT. <laughs> For God loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son. Well, never mind. We can't be sons of God. We can't get saved of this corruptible seed. That's right. right. Yep. yep. Man. One more. One Corinthians. First Corinthians. One eighteen. Come on, mom. That's good. Preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved is the power of Amen. God. Amen. It's good. We are saved. The done right. Good. Amen. Oh, you guys read that. Right? See what the Joel Osteen likes in his NLT. The message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed to this for destruction. But we who are being saved know what is the very power of God. Wow. Good the process is your work salvation. No thanks. That's right. Yeah, that's good. That's good, brother. And uh, let's see. lastly, watered down preaching. Yep. Isaiah 58 1 says, Cry aloud, spare not. Let's give our voice like a Amen. trumpet. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. And Joel, Joel Osteen has said that he doesn't even use the word sin at all. I did a surf. The Bible uses the word sin 447 times. Wow, that's good. Not to mention variations like sin and sinner and all that. So yep. there's a lot more. Yep. Next 20:27 says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Amen. God. Amen. Ephesians 6:11, Put on the whole armor of God, Amen. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. In John 14:15, Jesus says, If you love me, keep my commandments. How will listeners of Joel Osteen going to love God if he never says anything about the commandments? That's good. Other than maybe an occasional mention of sin that maybe you should avoid just so your life will be better. It's all about you. Yep. yep. No, it's not. True. If you good. love me, keep my commandments. Amen. Good. Keep, Amen. The, keep the commandments because you love God. Amen. That's, good. That's right. Amen. I'd like to close with a couple of verses here. Proverbs 26, 25. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. And verse 28. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattery mouth worketh ruin. Joel Osteen doesn't love you enough to tell you the truth. It's good. Sure. Yeah. Galatians 1, 8, 9. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Amen. As we said before, so say it now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Amen. Amen. Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Think about that. Joel Osteen is a good illustration of this. Yep. That's what makes him so dangerous. He's quiet, smiley, and nice. What could be wrong with that guy? He's a Amen. wolf. That's right. Amen. Right. Amen. Romans 16, 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, to mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. I mark them, let's avoid them. Amen. That's good. That's good. Closing word prayer. Amen. Thank you, God, for your perfect, inspired word. Amen. Amen. Thank you that it, it calls out false prophets for us. We keep safe. And just please help us use your word. Let us live for you from day to day. And thank you for everything you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Pope John Paul II sold Zuclone B to the Nazis so they could gas the Jews. Look it up. Uh, <laughs> nice. That's great. He sold what is it? He's Zuclone that? B. He's a board member. Like a brand name. Yeah, that's really cool. oh, that's you know the only reason he became Pope is to get out of uh, DNXP. Yeah. Because he 
gassed all the juice with all these chemicals in it. So look it up. Here's a big interesting story behind it because like the Pope before him magically died like early. <laughs> he was a 